we are going to vote in the month of August. Isn't it? This is my honest advice for this church and for the church in Kenya. As you are going to vote in your leaders, I want to give you a key that will guide you during, uh, during this voting uh, period. As you are praying and going to vote, make sure that you vote this time round. However long the queue may be, make sure that you vote. Because your vote counts in bringing the change that we need. One of the reasons why God has kept you alive is that you become a support system in choosing the correct leaders. To not be overtaken by nepotism or a tribe or anything, but be guided by the Spirit. Now, these three points are key as we are going to vote. You have to be very careful to see that the person you are voting in has God in him. Any other person or anything that does not smell God, just kick it out for me. When I say people who have God in them, there comes a time when we must reduce our complaints by putting in position people who know God. I'm not saying that you, you, you vote in pastors. A person may be a pastor, but a pastor in matters of being a child of God. So vote in people that know that who have God in their life. Number two, key number two. Anybody that threatens the church should not be in our list of consideration. Anybody that is a threat to the church, we should not become foolish and say that they will do nothing. They will do something. If anyone is a threat to the church of Jesus Christ. Let him stay aside for now. That he might have time to repent and become born again. You are the agents of change. And the agents of good governance. When the wicked lead, the people perish. But when the righteous are in power, the people prosper. If you need prosperity this time, ensure that you elect people from MCA to president. People that fear the Lord. People that don't threaten the church. When I say threaten the church, there are leaders who even don't respect clergy. They don't care what a pastor is. They think we are another team of beggars. Kick them out for me. What did I say? Kick them out for me. No matter the party they belong to. Even if they belong to a party that you love. And they don't love God. They threaten the church. Kick them out for me. Don't be on a queue for seven hours just to elect a wrong leader. People that throw in the church. Hello? Yes. Number three. Anyone that despises the church. I don't mean gospel. 
I mean any church. Whether we are built or not built. As long as it's a sanctuary and it's an altar of the most high God. Anybody that despises the church. Kick him or her out for me. Be guided by those three principles. Any believer that is listening to me, wherever you are, all over the country, kick those people out. You may not be my church member, but you belong to the church of my Savior, Jesus Christ. Kick them out. Even if you elected them last time and you have discovered they don't value your God, replace them. 